Well, Tampa is over and we are getting packed up and ready to roll out of here. And as you can see, I'm over here doing all the hard work, filming videos, and Leslie's just screwing off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the brave words you're saying right now. Well, I'm glad you're done messing around so we can finally, finally talk. My bad. <laughs> Uh, so now we only have a week. We start filming RV Unplugged a week from today. Yes. Are you nervous? Yes. Yeah. We got a <laughs> lot to do. We still haven't planned what meals we're bringing. No. We haven't planned, you know, all the little things that we are trying to figure out that we need to do. So we have a chore list. Like I know I need to change the oil in the generator. Mm -hmm. We got to get the food figured out. We got to figure out, we we're only going to have limited water. So we're trying to figure out like, how do we navigate that yeah. little tips and tricks and hacks might add a couple extra blanket. Yeah, we are. And we, and we're on the fence on whether we're going to bring scout or not. We've been back and forth on whether we're going to bring scout. It depends on the day you talk to us, whether scout is yeah. coming or not, because he's coming. He's not coming. He, no, never mind. He's coming. Oh, no. Changed my mind again. He's not coming. The weather is so unpredictable in Florida. So, and we don't know what time we're getting up to do challenges. It could be 50 degrees when we leave to go to a challenge. It could be Good. getting up into the seventies or eighties during the day. And we're not gonna be there to switch. We don't have the cool cool guy thermostats, no. the smart stuff. You gotta actually be there to switch it from furnace <laughs> to air conditioner. And so he requires to be around 100, 105 degrees. And his heat lamps take up energy, which we're trying to conserve. Yes. But they don't take up that much energy. And then, and we're gonna be gone all day, which he's fine with, by the way. He prefers we're gone, yeah. honestly. So I don't know, we're gonna navigate all that stuff in this video, we're gonna take you along and kind of show you our getting prepped for RV Unplugged. We have no idea what we're doing. I want to bring them. I know. <laughs> just because you you want to miss you don't want to miss them. Yes. Yeah, I know. I and cry just Oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> and I I really want to bring him too because um I don't want him to be like in an environment that he's that he don't know at your parents' house, so Yeah. Yeah. So I don't miss him. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta turn the camera off. We're getting emotional over a lizard. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We'll let you know what we decide. But looking at this, <laughs> we're probably we're probably gonna bring him. <laughs> Damn him! Why does he have to be so cute, and lovable? <laughs> we are in full-on prep mode for RV Unplugged, and today I'm out here getting ready to change the oil in our generator. So this is the generator that we're using out there. I don't think we'll have to use it too much though. Uh, Scout, we may have to recharge some batteries to keep your heat lamps going, buddy. Because yeah. we have already decided, we already discussed <laughs> taking Scout with us on the adventure to RV Unplugged. But I don't, hopefully we're not gonna use the generator too much, I'm hoping, but I gotta change the oil anyway. Let me show you why I'm hoping that we're not gonna use the generator too much. We have our solar and lithium setup. So we've showed this before, but in case you're new to the channel, we have four of the 280 amp hour Big Beard batteries, which gives us 1120 amp hours of power. We have the two multipluses. So we have power on two different legs. So if we need to, we can run air conditioner on each leg. We can run air conditioner on one, a microwave on another. I don't think it's going to get too, too warm. Uh, it'll get a little chilly at night. So we are bringing two of the 30 pound propane tanks one on each side and then our generator runs on propane so we're bringing two of the 25 pound propane tanks which we're keeping up here in this storage bay and uh, we have 1340 watts of solar on the roof to recharge us during the day hopefully we'll get some sun if we get a lot of cloud cover and some rain we might be busting out the generator so that's why I'm doing the oil change on that bad boy today Gonna he's gonna supervise yeah all right, you gonna make sure I do it right, buddy? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, today is a big day for prepping for RV Unplugged. It's Friday, and we start filming on Monday. And uh, we gotta go get provisions. All right, we're going into the pet supermarket to get Scout some, some worms and food. I like going in here because I like checking out the baby bearded dragons while Leslie's shopping for worms. I'll be playing with the babies, if they have any babies. 
not playtime. <laughs> it's always playtime. We rarely show on our channel what Scout eats, and we get asked that all That's the hard. time. So let's show what Scout eats. If you are queasy at the sight of <laughs> bugs or worms, these you may are cute wanna. Ones. Oh, they're cute. These are cute. <laughs> Oh, look at these guys. Or super worms. Yes. Stay in there, little guy. He loves those. These are his favorite. He will probably eat a good 20, 25 of these. Yeah. In and a they sitting. come in a thing yeah. of 50. Well, they come in 25, 50s, or 100s. Mm -hmm. We get the 50s generally. Yeah. And I got two of those just in right. case. And as a treat, he likes horn worms because they're a good source of water. Yeah, and those look like the uh, tomato worms. Yes. The green tomato worms. And theirs must be brand new. They must have just got these in because they're itty bitty right now. They haven't grown. They will grow big and fat and huge. But in probably, I'd say three days, three or four days, they're going to be big, fat, juicy ones. And yeah. he's going to devour them. But See, right now, got... they're itty bitty babies. Little guys. Yeah. Hey, little guys. They You're going to be yummy. I have no idea what awaits them. No, here we go. Here comes the fun stuff. No, Walmart. Not fun. Always the funnest. What you got? This one? Mm-hmm. This one? Okay. Or this one? I like the uh, the black camo, black and gray camo. And I like the skulls. So this guy's out. The skulls in the flask is like cool. I'm a bad boy, but I like to party. <laughs> That completely <laughs> describes me. I'm a bad boy, but I like the party. I like the boat. I got the military vibe, but yeah, not really. But and I think I have I have a couple others at home. I think you have one at home. I just want to make sure I have enough. Yeah, that's a quick dry, so that could actually quick dry. That be, could be good. beneficial. No yeah. chafing between the legs. Yeah, you don't know? want that. You don't want monkey butt in no. the middle of a com <laughs> the competition. <laughs> So, yeah. No, no, you don't want that. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that then. Okay. Scully's. Winner. Coming soon to an episode of RV Unplugged near you. <laughs> All righty. Now I'm awkwardly hanging out in the women's underwear department watching Leslie shop for underwears. I know for sure she's not going to do anything thong no. or G-string. Because no. the last thing you want to do is a challenge with a rope up your butt, right? <laughs> right. Exactly. Got to be comfortable. I just want to pack it I don't understand what's so hard about it. I went back there. I was back there for like 30 seconds. I got my underwear and my socks. It's easy. It's not. It's so Look at all these. Look at all the selection. Look at all the selection of... <laughs> look, at all that you have to choose from. I don't understand why it's so difficult. We just picked up our second cart. We filled the first one. So now we're on cart number two. Just started out with that. It's going to be full also. That's all just stuff. This is going to be food and groceries. Holy crap. My nose is running. I've been in here so long. Well, it's cold in the, in the frozen foods. This yeah. is all of our food for the next couple weeks. We have the necessities. You can see we have Doritos and Twizzlers and Lickies and Chewies. And then we have, this is all of our other stuff that we need. So when we get back to the RV, we'll show you some of the highlights. We're not going to show you everything. We'll show you some of the highlights and some of the ideas that we've had for some of the stuff that we bought. That we have nowhere to put. Now, we're going to be like overweight just from having... All this stuff. <laughs> well, I just learned something new. This was edu an educational trip to Walmart. Yeah, you, apparently you can only check out with 125 items in At one time. in one shot, and then yeah. you have to because we got an error. We thought it was because maybe something needed to be approved for a purchase, yeah. but we were scanning like Captain Crunch. Yeah, and I'm like, I know yeah. you don't have to be 18 to get Captain Crunch. <laughs> no, but the limit is 125 items per transaction. Yes, yeah, so we had to check out twice and then we had to finish up <laughs> we only had 34 dollars worth of stuff on the second, the second one yeah we almost made it almost but made yeah. it look at that receipt that's that's the first receipt holy crap hey buddy look what mommy's got want some worms? mommy's got some worms for him want some of these? oh yeah look at him looking i know what this is oh, oh yes, i know what do. this is it's the good stuff yes sir bring it there he goes that's yummy, huh? We got a couple of buckets, and the buckets are for, so when we start our showers, we put the water in there, and while we're waiting for it to get warm, 
So we don't want to waste that water. No. And we don't want to just go in the great tank and fill up. So we're going to take that water. We're going to use that for flushing Toilet. toilets. Yes, we'll leave it by the toilet and you can just... Mm. You can also use it for other things like rinsing things off if you need to. Yeah. It's still, it's very clean water. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. I wouldn't drink it because it's coming out of the fresh tank. Mm. I don't do that, but yeah. that's going to help us save some water. And then we some, some other water saving tips. We bought little smaller loofahs. Yeah. Easier to rinse out. Yeah, so it won't hold in the soap as much. We're just doing quick showers quick anyway. Showers. Most of the food we got is like canned goods, chilies, soups. We do got some ramen. You can't go wrong with ramen. Yeah. Frozen meals. Yeah, and lots of frozen meals. And don't shame us. Don't send the hate mail. How we should have cooked a bunch of food, yeah, we cut don't it cook. up, bagged it. I ain't got time for that. I don't like to do that. I don't no. like to cook on a normal given day. So we can use our microwave, and then our generator will recharge, or our solar will recharge yeah. us. So we're we're fine. Yeah. So we're just frozen mealing it. And nutritionally wise, it's not the greatest, but it's two weeks of our lives. It's not a big deal. We got some hand sanitizer. Yes. So we have to wash our hands all the time, oh. every time. I mean, if you're just doing something really quick, you can just sanitize your hands and save some water. And coming from the medical field, we're used to using hand sanitizer like... Between every patient. Between, well, between every patient. But it also, it's, I think we were told like every three times you sanitize, then you wash. Yeah. You know, so that'll help out. Yeah. And then we're going to be using all paper plates, plastic Put utensils. Those throwing those out so we don't have to do a bunch of dishes everything. yes and a lot of the frozen meals they come in their own containers so we'll throw those we'll throw away. those out <laughs> we got the tower o cereal <laughs> is this what you're doing when i'm busting my ass <laughs> look i'm getting it ready for you to put away i can't carry it like that <laughs> give it a try come on you can do it i know i can here we go. Oh, oh. Cheater. <laughs> <laughs> These are going to be good to take, like, when we have to, like, leave and go somewhere. And you're like, I'm probably going to want a snack. I can just pack these in a bag. All right, next challenge. Grab your nut sacks and get ready. <laughs> well, we didn't get everything we needed yesterday. No, forgot a couple things. Which is good. That's And we did that on purpose. We shopped a couple days before because we knew we would probably forget something or get home and be like, oh man, we need this. Yeah. So we did. And I was like, oh man, I need more bourbon. <laughs> Last minute provisions. Yes. Got to get all stocked up here. Yeah. So we're in the liquor store. I got to get a couple of bottles of bourbon. I have I have several, but just want a little bit of variety. Here, if we go through them, you don't want to be out. Yeah. And you know our strategy is to just get to everybody get drunk. drunk. <laughs> so they have such a bad hangover that we win. So I got to get yeah. my supplies. We're at the Walmart liquor store, which is a pretty good liquor store, by the way. Yes. And I'm going to get probably, I have several other kinds, but I'm, I, I'm out of uh, Buffalo Trace. Mm -hmm. I'm out of Knob Creek. I think those are the two I'm going to grab today. Okay. And I'll make do with everything else that I got. And you have enough vodka last year? I think and so. And some I might, cream. I might just grab a small bottle just to be safe. Yeah. All right. There's Knob Creek. I get that. Dude, there's no Buffalo Trace. It's gonna be okay. So I got my Knob Creek. I think I'm gonna get, I don't know, I was thinking Woodford Reserve. I was gonna say Woodford or 1792. Or 1792. 1792 is really, really good. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. I like it a lot. Okay, let's do it. 1792, and we got my Knob Creek nine year. Yeah. I already have some Maker's Mark. I have some Four Roses. I have some Wellers. I have uh, some Jim Beam. I have some Jack Daniels. All right, we're back. I think we have everything that we need now. If not, we still got tomorrow. Still got tomorrow. <laughs> we are traveling to Margaritaville tomorrow. Yeah. But we do have a little bit of time in the evening if we need it. Last minute, whatever. I think we're good, though. I think I we're think good. So. so let's do the test. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to kick off the shore power okay. and then I want to kick on the microwave for like five minutes. That's the average time that one of these microwave meals will take us to cook. Three and a half to five minutes. Three and a half to five minutes. So if we do it five minutes and see how much power that takes away from us, then it'll give us an idea of how many two meals 
because we each have yeah, to do per one. Person. Yeah. So it gives an idea of how much power we're going to burn through cooking dinner. All right, let's kill the power. Awesome. And all right, we have 100%. And we cleaned out some of this stuff yesterday. Leslie's going to sacrifice the green beans. No, I met a green oh. blend. Anyway, we were cleaning out storage space in the freezer anyway, so this is not essential for food that we're going to use. We just don't want to run the microwave dry. So we do yeah. have a couple other things running with the TV and a couple lights running, but that's not going to impact it too much. You really just want to see what the microwave is going to zap for power. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. 99%. And that's with everything else running in, too. I mean, with the TV running in the background, we got lights still on. Starlink is still plugged in. Our T-Mobile Home is still plugged in. Yeah. Uh, my computer's still plugged in. So with all that and doing a meal for five minutes, we only lost 1% power. So I think we made the right call going with the uh, doubling down on the microwave meals. Mm -hmm. Is he going to try it? Oh, he's trying it. Holy crap. I was just totally expecting to snub that. Is it good, buddy? You like cooked <laughs> veggies or you don't Not know what sure. to think yet? <laughs> well, we made it to Camp Margaritaville and this is our current spot. This is just for one night. Tomorrow we are moving over to the site of the filming and uh, it's windy and warm out right now, but tomorrow it's supposed to get cooler and especially in the nights, mid 40s, and hopefully the wind will die down when it cools down. Leslie is up top side cleaning the solar panels because we just had a, a bunch of pollen everything was yellow you can see the truck the truck is really yellow and uh, yeah it's covering everything so we have to clean that off so that we'll get good solar strike to recharge our batteries while we're over there boondocking for the next the next two weeks and we might have to even get up on the roof every few days and clean off the pollen just to make sure that those are picking up solar good but we're happy to have full hooks hookups for one more night Nice, long, hot shower tonight. Leslie will do a little bit of laundry. I'm gonna fill up the fresh tank because we're allowed to have water in our tanks this year. Not that they'll let us keep it. They might make us dump it, but they said show up like you're, like you're ready to boondock. And that means tanks and everything. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I do need to flush and clean the black tank, empty all the gray, fill up the fresh, make sure everything is good to go. We are topped off on propane. We are topped off on Everything we need, really, I think. We got food. Uh, it's just nothing left to it but to do it now. <laughs> Leslie went up to clean the solar panels on the roof, and she can't stop herself. Once she gets in cleaning mode, she just keeps on cleaning stuff. Let me see how dirty the water is. Oh, look at the pollen floating on it. Nasty. Nasty. So this is where we leave you. We can't share anything else. We have a production meeting tonight, but we can't share details of that until it comes out. So make sure you keep following us because as the competition is going on, we will be sitting down in the evenings trying to talk about what we're going through, what we're feeling, thoughts on you know what happened throughout that episode. Yeah. And uh, kind of an insider look on what's going on on RV Unplugged from without, our perspective. Without revealing anything. Without revealing anything. So as those episodes come out on RBM Plugs channel. Ours will come out shortly after. And so you can kind of see, you know, what we were going through at the time that mm -hmm. all that stuff was actually happening. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Wish us luck. Go Team Wags! Participate in RBM Unplugged, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun, they said. It will be fun. Um, yeah, that's it, man. Uh, I don't know what else to say. We're, we're ready. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> Leslie is... I'm getting there. She's ready as she's going to get. Yeah. I can only get... Um, I'm, I'm almost tapped Yeah, to the max there. All right. But hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. Here we go. See you next time. Bye.